Hello, this is my next executive series video. Our topic today is quality planning. Aaron Snyder here from Quality Systems Explained, where we make quality systems simple for you. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. This is my first video. Please go back and watch the executive series introduction video. You can find all the supporting information and links to supporting documents in the video description below. In this video, I will go through the requirements for quality planning in less than two minutes. We have a standard agenda which consists of four items. You can see those items in the progress bar below. If you stick around to the end of the video, I will have a bonus for you. Three questions that you can ask that will highlight that you understand the requirements, but also give you some good information on your quality management system. Our requirement today, quality planning, comes directly from 820.20D and ISO 1345 section 5.4. Quality planning in five words. Use planning to ensure quality. Quality planning can take many forms. For most companies, it's going to be your policies, your procedures, your SOPs, work instructions, forms, templates. All of those are a form of quality planning. You can also have standalone quality plans, maybe for an improvement project or some other major initiative like a product transfer or a design transfer. And finally, quality plans can be used with suppliers or other entities external to your quality management system to communicate your requirements. How do I know the requirements for quality planning or work? First, your policies, your procedures, your work instructions, your SOPs, they're all approved and effective. Second, suppliers and other external entities understand your quality requirements. And then finally, improvement projects are captured and documented within your quality management system. How do I know it's not working? Well, first, your documentation isn't complete. You have procedures that aren't effective, policies that aren't effective. Second, suppliers, they don't understand their requirements. They don't know what they need to do to meet your expectations. And then finally, you have improvement projects and other activities that are being done, but they're not captured within your quality management system. Now, for those three bonus questions. First, do we have a quality planning process or procedure? Second, how do we communicate our requirements to external entities, suppliers, and other business units? And then finally, improvement projects. How do we capture those within the quality management system? Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. If you have any questions, please send me an email at qms.jedi at gmail.com. This is Aaron Snyder from Quality Systems Explained. Never stop learning.